Back in August of 2015, the band 30 Seconds to Mars launched Camp Mars, which was a three-night getaway taking place in Malibu, California. Allison P. Davis of the publication The Cut described the evidence of the camp as resembling, and I quote, a combination of Coachella, a work retreat, and a guilty remnant gathering, since it combined activities including hiking, camp sing-alongs, with band and DJ performances. While there was some suspicion over the camp's $900 admission fee, as well as a cultish ad promoting it, many fans reported having a genuinely positive experience. But in 2019, the band took this experience a step further by launching the Mars Island Festival and have since played up their persona as a cult. That's what we'll discuss in today's video. The Mars Island Festival was created as a successor to Camp Mars, occurring the same month as a three-night, all-expenses-paid retreat, featuring many of the same activities, and was reserved for several hundred fans. But this time, it would take place overseas on a private Adriatic island in Croatia. Excluding travel expenses, the starter package for the first Mars Island Festival was $995, while the highest tier package was $6,499, including, and I quote, an exclusive VIP experience with the band's frontman, Jared Leto himself. It's worth noting that the Mars Island Festival occurred two years after the infamous Fire Festival, which ended in a disaster at the hands of its founder, Billy McFarland. And even though this festival was a success in contrast, its spectacle was also at the forefront, which was off-putting to some attendees. According to Total Croatia News, they expressed disappointment with the festival's first iteration, as the concert performances that were promised as part of the experience were replaced with preaching sessions conducted by Leto, but a majority seemed unfair phased by this change. As shown in Jared Leto's Twitter post on August 15, 2019, several photos feature droves of attendees dressed in white robes alongside him, all appearing to be an adulation of him with the caption, yes, this is a cult. While the quote appears as if it's specific to the festival, it actually had its origins early in 30 Seconds to Mars history. By the time the band released their self-titled debut record in 2002, they'd already amassed a devoted following, which they called the Echelon, named after the sixth track on the album. They'd also become known for their intimacy with fans, which is shown in the music video for the second single, Edge of the Earth, released a year later. A decade following the release, the band was profiled by Time Magazine, who mentioned to Leto about the quote, Yes, this is a cult, appearing in the music video for the song Closer to the Edge. Leto would respond, It's a joke, a response to journalists saying you have such a cult following. We've always had incredibly committed people following us. If people like 30 Seconds to Mars, they really, really like it. While noting their preference for the collective term the echelon rather than fans, he'd say by his own admission, I quote, I hate the word fan, it just seems so dismissive. Because we have this cult, this family, these believers who understand, it seems fitting that there was a name to reference them. While the festival was cancelled in 2020 due to the pandemic, it was announced in 2021 it would take place on an island in Croatia from August 20th to the 23rd. Much like Camp Mars during its four-year span, the price increased considerably with the base package now at $1,649 and the VIP package at $7,149. According to the Mars Island section of the band's website, which is accessible by login only, these packages were said to include and I quote, two full-length group concerts, activities with the band, accommodation and food. With the already high admission price, there was also several upsells. If attendees were to request a bathroom as part of their tent rather than using a facility near the site, they'd have to pay as much as $2,491 on top of their chosen admission, and an extra night on the island would cost them an additional $467. But as the pandemic worsened during this time, the 2021 festival was also cancelled. In April of this year, Jenica Enoch, fan who attended Camp Mars with a friend in 2017, wrote an article describing her experience for the publication Geeks entitled Escaping the Cult of Mars. And while she makes note of the expense of admission, her words echo how a majority of fans felt writing, and I quote, Honestly, it was one of the most fun vacations I ever had. I met some pretty cool people, got to attend consecutive Church of Mars concerts, complete with each night being a theme night, enjoyed the beautiful Malibu Hills, and not feel like I had to look at my phone every five minutes. The camp had everything you could think of. S'mores, campfires, tents, archery, swimming, hiking, and games, she'd say. According to Enoch, Camp Mars evolved into Mars Island Festival based on the demand from fans outside of the U.S. for a similar experience. 
While she notes there wasn't anything out of the ordinary about Mars Island, even with what's shown in the photos, she also surmises that the band's tendency towards profit over community has led to disarray among their fan base, writing, There was this constant feeling like you had to compete with others for attention to get your money's worth. Like I paid for this, I better do what I can to be seen by them. It's a terrible feeling and that is exactly how Jared has molded the fan base. Add in the release of an album that wasn't very good, the departure of their longtime guitarist, the underwhelming A Day in the Life of America project that promised fan submitted footage and included none of it, and just the overall nastiness and entitlement within the echelon, she'd say. The band is currently holding pre sale for the Mars Island this year, which is once again set to take place in Croatia from August 19th to the 22nd. That does it for today's episode of Rock and Roll True Stories, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you again in our next video. Take care.